intelligence, their strength, intelligence, and empathy belong to nothing less than God. Spit. When we chop up the sacred for its shiniest parts, there'd be nothing left to save our own teeth from being strung up on necklaces and our skin from oh. hanging off of someone else's shoulders. It is unsafe to walk this earth with a skeleton of jewels inside a body someone wants to own. Oh. You know how hard it is to fell the brother of a man to kill something that has survived the ice age. Do you know how many men it takes? How much poison per dart? It is not one shot target practice, a quick buck death. It is a gang and as many weapons as they can hold, sharp enough to dig into inch thick skin, and a commitment to watching the life leak out of the largest body this land carries. It is a slow and careful murder. So we can wear ivory buttons and earrings unstained by ancient blood. It helps us forget the part of ourselves and rather mount the animal kingdom on the wall than let them roam the earth they never thought to own. Mm -hmm. An elephant falls at the severed ready. History wrinkled into its flesh like tree rings. It is not a coincidence these creatures have trunks. Mm -hmm. The dying breath of an elephant sounds like a nail sliding through the last butterfly's wing. Mm -hmm. An elephant never forgets. So what happens when we murder our memory? Blast through cave paintings to mine for diamonds. Scatter the remains of Pompeii citizens into the wings of the obsidian under their bodies. Scrub at our nastiest history until it gleams like ivory. An elephant falls like the libraries of Alexandria burn. Wow. Oh. Last what? month, poachers killed a record number of elephants at once. A family of ten. How many deaths does it take for us to see our own reflection, our suicide, and their extinction? 25,000 elephants killed a year in climbing. When a dead elephant hits the ground, does it sound like a piano? Beautiful enough to inspire such cool dentistry. Oh. Ivory cute pianos are almost extinct in this country, but elephants still sing in our circuses and shine like expensive jewelry in our zoos and county fairs. They still fall like forests. But you cannot excavate a graveyard without uprooting ghosts. As long as we pretend these tusks are separate from our own skeletons, we will be haunted by the footsteps that flattened the savannah. Because these possessed bones will always remember their way home. Let's go. Come on. Come on.